All right, people, the time has come to listen up. Today, I'm gonna to go over four tips to help you not just survive your AP class, but to thrive in it. And for those of you who make it to the end of the video as a reward, I'll throw in a fifth bonus tip that'll help you get a stronger support system for your studies. So it's no secret that AP courses are difficult. I mean, the sheer amount of content alone can overwhelm any student. Over the past 10 plus years of teaching AP courses and talking with my own students, students, I have come up with five tips to help any student decrease their stress and increase their AP results in their class. Starting off with tip number four, perspective is everything. Years ago, I had a student in my AP Human Geography class who was extremely bright. She had A's in every class, generally always had the highest grade on a test, and was one of the hardest working students I've honestly ever taught. So when it came to our first unit test, I was surprised to see that she got a six out of 14 on her first FRQ and got a D on her multiple choice test. Once she saw her score, she came to me to drop to class. She considered herself a failure and truly believed she couldn't do it. However, after talking for a while, going over the test, and looking at how she studied, we came up with a plan to help her succeed. Over the course of the school year, she got better and better at taking AP tests. And by the end of the year, when it came to take the AP national exam, she ended up walking into that exam with confidence and was able to get a five. I tell you this story because I want you to realize that AP classes are difficult, but that is okay. What you get on a test, a quiz, or an assignment does not define you as a person or a student. If my student had given up after their first unit exam, she never would have learned from that experience and would have never gotten a five on the AP national exam. This is why it is so important that throughout this school year, you remember to keep your perspective in check. Remember that you can do this. Remember you will do this. And remember that even if it becomes difficult, there is support out there for you. Now, tip number three is study smarter, not longer. There is nothing worse than studying for eight hours for a test, then getting to the test and blanking, resulting in you failing the test and then crashing out. So let's address the elephant in the room. Cramming, passively watching my videos, or skimming through your notes is not an effective way to study. The best way to study is by utilizing a method known as distributed practice, which is when you space your studying out over time, which I I realize sounds like it'll take more time and is a lot more work, but it'll actually save you a lot of time. When you space out your studying, it allows your brain to process and to understand the information. Each time you go back and study, you end up revisiting the information, which helps strengthen the neural connections in your brain, making the memory stronger and more durable. Utilizing distributed practice also allows you to identify areas of weakness. When you cram, it is common that you feel like you understand the information, but the next day you realize you were not even close. Distributed practice helps you identify areas where you thought you knew the content but actually didn't. This can help you review your areas of weakness and improve instead of spending time on information that you already know. We can see this when looking at Herman Ebbinghaus's research. Ebbinghaus looked at the forgetting curve where he noticed that memory retention declines over time but revisiting the material and spacing out your studying helps flatten the curve and slows the rate of forgetting, leading to real learning. This is one of the reasons why when creating the exam slayer, we created a digital exam simulator that gives you detailed feedback on your practice test. This allows you to see exactly where you are struggling with a unit, which then you can use to refine your studies and help you focus on exactly what you need to do, allowing you to save yourself time and improve your test scores. All right, tip number two is be active and not passive. I can't cannot stress enough how important it is when you are studying, when you are in class, and when you are taking an exam that you are active. And no, I don't mean physically active, I mean mentally active. In class, make sure you are taking notes, asking questions, and engaging in the content. This will not only make it easier to remember the information, but will also make the time go by faster. And speaking of that, as a quick side note, I never understood why so many students just sit in class bored. Like, ask a question 
questions, start a discussion on the content, maybe a debate or two. It makes class way more interesting. And no matter what, you're going to be in the class, so you might as well enjoy it and try to make it fun. Now, when you engage in the content, I would recommend finding ways to make connections that are unique and interesting to you, even if it is something weird or out there. For me, when I was in college, I struggled with chemistry and biology. A lot of the concepts were foreign to me, and to help me remember concepts, I would connect them to different Pokemon with similar sounding names. This made it easy for me to remember the information since it was unique and funny. Also, since we're on the topic of being active, make sure if you watch a review video, such as my AP Human Geography videos or AP Psychology videos, you are not just passively watching the videos. If you truly want to understand everything in the video, then you need to be active. Feel free to use my guided notes or take your own notes. This simple step keeps you active in your learning and makes sure that you're processing all of the information in the video. If you want my guided notes for any of my videos, you can find them inside the Ultimate Review Packet. I created these notes to go along with each video to make sure that you do not miss any key concepts in the video. And when you go inside the Ultimate Review Packet, you will also find other exclusive topic videos, exclusive unit review videos, practice quizzes, full practice AP tests, and much more. Plus, if you want even more help with your studies, you can also check out the Exam Slayer, which has everything you need to refine and improve your testing experience. Focusing solely on testing tips, tricks, and practice. Both of these resources focus on you being active in your studies and will help you keep on track for your AP class. Plus, the best part is you can find these resources for any of these AP subjects here, all of which are created by real AP teachers who truly know the content. Content. All right, now last but not least, we have tip number one, which is review, refine, improve, and believe. So the most important thing that you can do to crush your AP class actually comes after you take a test. When you get a test back, please, whatever you do, do not just look at your score and move on. If you truly want to improve and crush your AP course, you need to review your test after you get it back. Look to see what types of questions you got wrong, what content you missed, what parts of the test tripped you up. When reviewing your test, look for any patterns. Did you miss certain questions more often? Did you miss certain questions due to vocab or was it due to application? Was there parts of the unit that you did worse on? Understanding the answers to these questions will help you better understand what you need to do to improve for the next test. If you notice that you're missing questions due to vocab, well, then you know that you need to refine and improve your studies to better understand the class vocab. Or if you notice that you keep missing stimulus questions, then you know you need to go and practice those specific types of questions more. Doing this is honestly a game changer, so much that when developing the exam simulator for the exam slayer, I made sure to include a full breakdown of each test that a student takes. When you take a unit test in the exam slayer, you see a full breakdown of your results. You can see exactly which topics you did well on, which topics you struggled with, how much time you spent on each individual question, and full explanations for each question. Showing you exactly why each answer is either right or wrong. This allows you to identify exactly where you need to study and what types of questions you are struggling with, which you can then use to change your weaknesses actually into strengths. The exam slayer makes it easy to reflect on your tests and identify quickly exactly where you need to study. And if you wanted to check it out, you can find it for any of these AP subjects today. Now, if you don't have the exam slayer, no worries, you still can do this on your own. Just make sure that when you get a test back in your class, you break down each question and figure out which topic in the unit each question goes to. Then look to see is there any patterns between the questions you got wrong to help you identify exactly where you need to study. Honestly, I can't state enough how much this will benefit you. The more you review your results, then refine your studies and practice, the more you will improve and the more confidence you will get in your class, which is important. Half of the battle of taking an AP course is remembering that you can and that you will do this. You just need to keep working at it and keep believing in yourself. All right, here we go. I promise if you made it to the end of the video, you'd get a bonus tip. And before we wrap this video up, I want to give you that tip. And honestly, it's more of a recommendation. 
But my recommendation for you is make sure you find a good study group with students to review the information with. Having a support system and a friend who can help keep you on track and motivate you is extremely helpful in any AP course. Now, if you decide that you want to join a study group, but you can't find one at your school, you can feel free to join my Discord server. It's free and it's a great spot to connect with other AP students across the country. Currently, we have over 25,000 students and teachers on the server who are all in different AP courses. The server also has a dedicated support staff of different students and teachers to help answer questions about course content, help with study plans, and even daily practice test questions to help you study and review. Again, if you're interested in checking out this free server today, you can just click the link down below and join this amazing community. All right, well, there you have it. If you want to check out any of my review resources for free today or any resources for any AP subject, make sure to click the link down below in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.